from here. sewer runs underneath here. Password. Um... Incorrect password. Guards! Guards!
Must be the basement of the Pyramesia. Okay, now to find Hassan's apartment. هلو نعم هذا البريمسي نعم آه هو هون آه أنا آه هو برا بعد الطريق حط حطيته ورا الباب ليف مي هلون بليز ليف مي هلون بليز ليف مي هلون بليز Leave me alone, please. Thank you. 
This must be Hassan's apartment. The safe should be around here somewhere. Bingo. The blueprints aren't here, Kim. I have Hassan's work schedule and a passcode to some underground club called the Golden Nargile. Seems our player's a bad boy. He must have the plans with him. Get to the club and track him down. Out. <laughs> Thank you. 
the Golden Argyle. Password. Swordfish. You may pass. Anifa San? He's not here! Go look, please! I've got to get out of here. Kim, there's been a slight mishap over here. Is there a back entrance to the Golden Argyle? The plans I have aren't that detailed. You'll have to find one yourself. Are you okay? Ask me that in another hour. Out. And more, and more.
In 1952 in Switzerland, there was a meeting of a very select group of men drawn from the various military disciplines active during the war, and this is what was said. We are now in the midst of what they're calling a Cold War. This is an immense game of chess, where the two superpowers tamper with the countries in between them to alter the overall balance of power. The two superpowers have nuclear weapons. So do some of their chess pieces. More will have them soon. In 60 years' time, there will be 6 billion people on Earth. More than half of them will live in abject poverty, and poverty breeds war. These men who had fought and survived World War II looked at each other and said, here is the evidence. We will not survive World War III. We will not have the luxury of bringing our wisdom to its aftermath, for everyone on Earth will already be dead. This is John Gray, who had thrilled to H.G. Wells' pointed fable of the future, and these were his wings over the world.